Okay, this here is the basic question. I'm having a bad hair day, sorry. Okay, the fact is, do you believe that a lot of couples end up alone? They consider them strange and different. They don't look at things the way other people do. A lot of people just quit talking about things because people just give them that look. And they tend to, I think we, we tend to get more withdrawn. I find myself not really talking about prepping uh, to anybody. If I start talking about things like, you know, Wow, that's chicory growing, and then that's Queen Anne lace. You know what this is? Well, you know what it is to me? I know it's weeds, but there's benefits. You know, we'll go out on a nature wall. I'll be going, look, that there wild ginger, and this is Paul Solomon, and the roots are good for pain, and blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what it is to me? It's weeds. Uh, why do you have all those books? Why do you need these books? Why do you buy those books? Why do you do this? And why do you do that? So you just get where you just don't want to talk about it. You just don't really go in details about it because people give you that look. And you find that you tend to be somewhat in a withdrawn status where a lot of people People see me eating weeds all the time, the grass, I'll grab one and chew on it, you know, I'll grab some Creeping Charlie because I'm not feeling good, and I'll chew it and get the juice out of it, and I'll spit the leaves out. Uh, you know, if I got uh, inflammation, inflammatory, little, inflamed, uh, day lilies are good for, if you, have, you know, if you're inflamed some with your legs and all that. Sometimes I'll grab a day lily and I'll eat one because I'm not feeling real good and my legs and ankles that bother me or whatever. You know, I've been known to dig up a false Solomon root and eat it because I was in a lot of pain. You know, I got my back killing me. Whatever reason, you know, uh, I, there's St. John Ward growing wild. It's good for your moods and things like that. So, I just got where I really don't talk to people much anymore about a lot of things. Now, do I prep kind of the way I did? No, I don't. But it's not that I can't do it. It's just that uh, I do have the knowledge of how to do it. I've learned how to make my own things, uh, fire starters and things like that. And it, it can be very lonely being like this when nobody else is like this around you. And it can cause you to be more withdrawn from people because you feel alone. So do you think more and more preppers are really alone? I mean, you, I hear about them. They're out there looking for another prepper companion. They go on the sites looking. And I've even checked them out. But, you know, I look at them like, well, I don't know, you know, this one, uh, I'll, you know, I'll send some, some out, maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, it might not like me because I'm not a size five, I'm not, you know, I might not be what they're looking for, and I, I'm plain spoken, and you know, whatever reason, you know, how many of them actually really into the prepper lifestyle or just uh, just basically looking for someone and they're just approaching this here. You know, it's hard to say. But do you really believe that a lot of preppers end up being withdrawn and alone because of things around them? So this is a lot of prepper here. I want you to be safe, be happy, bless you all.